you're not going to school at the moment and you must be wondering how long this will take. You already know who's to blame for that, the coronavirus. We're sure you have many questions about the virus. Are we all going to be ill? Is there a medicine or a vaccine for this? Why do we have to wash our hands all the time? You may feel lots of emotions now. You're happy because you have so much free time, but you're also afraid of what's going to happen. This is all natural in the new situation. You keep hearing new words, your parents say them, they get repeated on the TV and on the radio. Pandemic, quarantine. You're not quite sure what they mean. Let's find out. What is this virus that makes us stay at home? Viruses are tiny infectious particles which infect all life forms. The virus we are talking about here is like a ball with many spikes. It looks like a crown and its name is coronavirus. Scientists call it SARS-CoV-2 and the disease it causes is called COVID-19. The virus is harmful to lungs and as you know, we need lungs to breathe. The symptoms of the infection are similar to the cold. You have a fever and chills, your muscles ache, and you're coughing and feeling generally unwell. What is a global pandemic? We're in the middle of a global pandemic. This means the virus appears in many places around the world at the same time. The pandemic is like a fire. The bigger it gets, the more difficult it is to stop. This is why countries introduce new rules to stop the virus and to protect people from the disease. The last global pandemic of an infectious disease took place 11 years ago. What does it mean that the virus is contagious? All organisms consist of a large number of cells. Viruses get inside the cells, this is how the infection happens. The viruses in the cells replicate, that is, their number grows. They can damage the cells or even destroy them completely, which means that particular body organs stop working. How can you get infected? The coronavirus moves from a human to human by droplets, while you're coughing or sneezing. That's why it's so important to cover your mouth and nose with your elbow when you're coughing or sneezing. You can also get infected by touching your face, mouth, eyes or nose with your hands. According to scientists, people touch their faces more than 20 times in an hour. That's why you need to wash your hands carefully to remove the virus from them. How to do this? Clean them often and properly, using water and soap. You can sing your favorite song while washing your hands. Is there a medicine or a vaccine? People infected with the coronavirus go to hospital. They get some medicines, which we have known for a long time now. Some of the medicines are cheap and easy to buy. They are produced in many countries. The vaccines are used to prevent the virus from turning into the disease. The vaccine against the coronavirus hasn't been invented yet. Scientists are still working on it and we believe they will soon be able to present it to us. Are we all going to be ill? No, we're not. There are many ways to prevent the virus from spreading. Most of the people who catch it and fall ill will get better soon. Why can't I go to school and see my friends? There are many ways to stop the virus from spreading and to protect everyone's health. The most important way is to keep your distance from other people. That's why schools are closed, just like some other places where people used to meet. Cinemas, theaters, shopping centers. We need to stay at home for now. What is quarantine? Some people who had contact with infected persons or suspected of being infected, are kept in quarantine. This means they have to self-isolate in their home for two weeks. I'm a bit afraid. 
What am I supposed to do? Fear and anxiety are very common emotions now. Everyone feels them, both adults and kids. Luckily, there are some great ways how to deal with them. What to do if difficult thoughts overcome you? You can talk about your feelings with your family. You can read books, watch comedies, play board games and hug someone. We still don't know when things will go back to normal and when we will defeat the coronavirus. But you need to remember that it will pass and go away for sure, like all problems do.